ideas spread like fire. You can't own fire. You can't own that kind of thing. There's not, it may be more, have more value as an idea that spreads than as something you can hold and sell. We, you know, we would not have the internet now if, it, if, 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 if the guys who came up with it in the first place, or for that matter, the government entities that employed those people insisted on asserting intellectual property control over those things. Um, we wouldn't have it at all. We'd still, we'd have a better phone system. You know, we'd have better cable TV, but we would not have the internet. And, and it's, and the interesting thing is that an enormous amount of wealth gets built on top of that. And this is due to what, um, uh, one of my good friends, a guy named J.P. Rangaswamy, who's the chief scientist of BT, which is British Telecom, uh, which I consult, by the way, but he's a good friend uh, prior to that, um, uh, calls because effects. You make money because of something rather than with it. Um, you know, we, we make money because of the Internet, not with the Internet. And there's a, um, uh, you know, Google makes money because of search. They don't make money with search. They make money because of Google Earth, not or Google Maps. They actually sell some of Google Earth um, rather than with it. And this, Google actually calls it uh, looking for second and third order effects. They get it. Google totally understands the network effects and the way the internet works in that, in that respect. And, I, and I, th I think we're lucky to have them out there, actually. But, the, uh, uh, but most of us don't have that concept down yet. We're still in this industrial age uh, place where we, we frame our understanding based on physical stuff. And I think it's a tough one to work out because we are physical animals. 